Hello everyone. I hope you are doing fine. Today we will learn ALOHA software, which is basically aerial locations of hazardous atmospheres. It is a modeling software of USCBA that can use for identifying risk zone from hazardous chemical releases including dispersion of toxic gas or fires and explosions from any uh, industry you can show the model output in arcgis or qgis platform you will find another tutorial on aloha in this channel uh, where i demonstrate how to get the software installation process and get started with the project you can look into it you can see over here uh, LPG uh, industry. So I have taken this uh, LPG tank as a case study. So first uh, I will open Aloha software. Then click OK. And here you can see site data. So first we have to add site data location location information if uh, you don't find your location from here just click here add and enter full location name location is The location in a u.s state uh, or territory not in u.s state and elevation six meter enter approximate location latin lawn northeast zone i will take a uh, latin long from here Twenty two degree thirty, yep, and long and uh, after that, just click OK and here country name, write your country name and offset from local standard. You will find uh, the detail uh, basic uh, from my another video you can check that out so at location and then uh, building type select building type so in this case single straight building and select building surroundings unsheltered surroundings you will find details from the help option you can check it out and then um, date and time use internal clock or you can use set constant time so i have uh, i will uh, use uh, internal time and then uh, chemical data you have to add chemical data from here chemical information so and also you can find the yeah, solutions and if you don't find the chemical information you can add from here you can just write chemical uh, name and a molecular weight anyway uh, for lpg tank for uh, my project they are using propane so i have selected propane as chemical and then select so chemical data has been added in the model chemical name and detail information here molecular weight and others and then atmospheric data user input we have to input atmospheric data like wind speed uh, wind speed is for my area is seven meter per second and wind is from southwest direction and measurement height above ground is this one You will find the details from a uh, help option you can check this
you can also uh, check this video you will find uh, every little things from that video and down roughness uh, it is open country and select cloud cover broadly cloud and then click ok and here uh, atmospheric uh, options to air temperature 33 degrees centigrade stability class d you will find what is d what is a what is b from uh, the help option or in my uh, other video inversion height no inversion and then uh, click ok and atmospheric data has been added here and then uh, set up uh, source so LPG tank and then uh, the tank uh, is pair diameter 20 and after giving the diameter value and then click ok and enter state of the chemical uh, this tank contains liquid and enter the temperature within the tank the chemical are uh, stored at 25 degrees for my project and then click ok and here enter the mass uh, i mean how many uh, percent uh, yeah percent full by volume that tank 50 percent full by volume then click ok and you can see here type of tank failure scenario the tank containing a pressurized flammable liquid so you can uh, see here type of tank failure there are uh, three scenario in my other video uh, maybe i have run the three yeah maybe three scenarios but uh, in this uh, in this tutorial i will just run these option tank explodes and chemical burns in a fireball blev and you can see a potential hazards for in this scenario thermal radiation from fireball and pool fire this will happen and then click ok and you will find here the result source strength and then go to display and uh, click thread zone and here thermal radiation level of concern select thermal radiation level of concern for red thread zone which is high risk zone and orange uh, which is low uh, medium and yellow which is uh, low risk zone uh, the radiation effect up to 900 meter radial distance from the source is potentially lethal uh, which is the red zone circle here in the orange uh, color circle uh, depicts people living under a distance of 900 to 1300 meter may experience second degree burns and those living within a distance of 1300 to 1000 meter may experience severe pain that is yellow color circle in this model output and you can also export this data as kml file You have to write here let and long I need to change uh, degree minutes seconds from uh, degree decimal minutes and then click ok file name just rename just uh, name it save it is saved in desktop open and then uh, you will see the result Yeah, uh, I mean the thread zone. Three color uh, denotes uh, three types of thread. So first, the red zone, uh, the which is uh, potentially lethal, 
and the orange uh, which is uh, second degree burns within 60 seconds and the yellow which is lower risk zone uh, pain uh, within 60 seconds i think you got some idea how this software works i suggest you watch my previously uploaded tutorial one aloha to gain a clear understanding thank you for watching